Guys, we just wanted to say uh, that we've been reflecting on the five-year anniversary episode and reading all the comments and everything. We just wanted to say thank you, first yeah. of all. Yeah, big thanks. Mm-hmm. I think we also wanted to say that, you know, we, we care about the show. And I think our focus just going in the rest of the year and into next year is just being committed to making sure the show is genuine and stays grounded, you know, just true to who we are. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, we like switched back to the handheld mics for the last episode and we just want to make sure that even though we have Candace here, that the show like doesn't become some big production every week, you know, it should just feel like two friends hanging out, which is what it started as. So Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we'll shut the fuck up and let's just start the episode. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, cut. All right, hey, guys. Yeah. Let's really give them some emotion. This isn't a joke, okay? This is real. People want to believe you. Stick to the script, Cody. We wrote it for a reason. Okay. Okay? Sorry. Uh, All right, so let's really, really give them what we want to sell. Yeah, yeah. This is a show, emotion. I'm fine. fine. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see it from you guys. Okay. Got it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry. Uh, Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. No, I'm good. Thank you. Places. All right, set. All right, on you. Oh, let's go. drama lighting. Nice touch. Yeah, this will be good. Wait, give me a second. Here, let's let's pray for a second. Give us a good episode. Thank you. Amen. Oh, okay, on your action. All right, and action. Guys, we just wanted to say that we've been reflecting on the five-year anniversary and reading all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to play really well with the camera on me. We really care about what you have to say. (laughs) Yeah, right. Get fucked. (laughs) What's up, guys? This is the TNT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Mystery of the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, okay. gay okay. as fuck. Well. <laughs> Why did I get my RC? The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. I thought we were going. Oh, yeah, we're going? Yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah, we've yeah. been you look, going. You looked hungry. That's why the pizza. <clears throat> yeah. He's like, you look hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Let me jam that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, water, I guess. What, I, what, I guess I water, guess water I, guess. I guess, dude. <laughs> like I said earlier, that's the first time I've actually watched us in full. I was howling at that video, man. You know something I I was mad I didn't say? Wait, explain the video first. Oh, yeah, because it was in the bonus. Yeah, right? yeah. It was the yeah, bonus. so we watched that TikTok of that dude interviewing kids on the BYU campus about what their favorite party drink was. And <laughs> they two specific mentions were eggnog and lemonade. And something I didn't think about is- And Kool-Aid, man. And Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Kool-Aid. So they hit me after is when you drink all those things, you're still thirsty. Yeah, yeah, totally. So if all those people are drinking those things at a party, just thirsty as fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole time. <laughs> just slamming eggnog like, <laughs> I wish I had water. <laughs> well, we have more eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> you want some lemonade? Oh, yeah, I guess I'll have another glass. Maybe that'll <laughs> maybe that'll quench my thirst. <laughs> you want some lemonade? Oh, dude. Chasing eggnog with lemonade? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just curdling in your yeah. stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it is making gouda cheese in there, man. <laughs> or mozzarella. Just mozzarella. Pasta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that brick of mozzarella you can get in the store? Yeah. Which you like cut open like an egg? Yeah. Yeah, that's what comes out of your ass when you live on the BYU campus. <laughs> just <laughs> with the water, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the lemonade part. Oh, oh really? Mike just did. Did that turn off in your mic in your earphones? Oh, I didn't okay. get that. Um, got your vocal cord cut. Yeah, for a second there. Yeah. Anyway, it's janky ass held handheld mics. Wait, is why that... did we ever go back to these? No, these are better. <laughs> I know they really are. They are way better. It's more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I 
I think the... You know what else is more fun? These. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear that because of the noise canceling, but... We're playing with... Uh, what would you even call these? Um, our foreskin. We hit up our doctors and we got our foreskin returned to us. Yeah, finally. Stretched out and put into these plastic sure. toys. What? Your cup. Oh, that's fine. I'm not even close, we're gonna, dude. We're going to buy a new carpet <laughs> if we fuck <laughs> yeah, it up. We should. Because yeah. I think that this is giving us cancer. Actually, like that blood. There's just straight up mold. No, it's not even blood anymore. It's just mold. I saw a couple comments too that are like, "What is that black stain on the carpet? It's mold. It's that's just straight up mold right there." You think? Yes, and I think that's actually making us sick. Probably. Let's get more of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm down. It'll make the <laughs> show funnier. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> why? Do, why do, do I feel weak every morning? <laughs> Oops. Oh, oopsie. Oopsie. We're good, we're good. So what do you think about... Dude, wait. Wait, yeah, what, what were you going to say about the BYU? Oh, yeah, the thirsty. seat. That, that was it, that was it. Yeah, yeah. No, I I, <laughs> I went to Sephora this weekend. Okay. You know, get some skincare <laughs> with Elena. Okay. I ain't afraid. Oh, you were going for yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, get some skincare. I'm not judging. Honestly, I, I'm i just... That's probably the only... Yeah, I, I want to do that next time. Yeah. I've never enjoyed a Sephora trip because it always ends up being me standing there for uh, two hours yeah i mean it's pretty overwhelming in there too it is just all the lights and god damn i don't i a million brands in that bitch oh yeah how do you and a million different celebs yeah endorsing each yeah, brand J-Lo, like, J-Lo's ass which crack, one do you like the most jlo's ass crack is every other <laughs> is stall. It? Is it? yeah it's just her poking it out selling what uh, I don't know, fucking skinny, Ask- skinny tea. <laughs> yeah, butt crack cream. Yeah, exactly. No, butt crack like blush. Yeah, <laughs> it's like crack. Uh, <clears throat> what's the fucking shit that goes right here? Glow. Yeah, no, keep going. That's one what's of those. What's the shit that's like shiny? Eyeshadow. No, highlighter. <laughs> it's crack highlighter. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ladies are going crazy for that <laughs> bit right there. <laughs> you know when J Lo be selling butt crack highlighter. Yeah, yeah. Sephora be like, Sephora be like, give me some makeup for my tits. (laughs) Um, do you have makeup in here that makes my tits look bigger? That's what Sephora's like. (laughs) Yeah, dude. So what were you getting? I ain't no lip plumper. (laughs) 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 Lip gloss, just popping that shit. Yeah, dick blush. Yep, all the good stuff. Ball ball plumper. Rubbing it on. After Ludwig's nuts got leaked, I... Yeah, like, what happened with that? He pulled his nuts out on cold ones to just be funny, and then uh, Chad misunderstood in the edit. <laughs> like He was like, you want them blurred. <laughs> and then he said... He said, LOL, yeah. And But I think Chad read it like <laughs> sarcasm. So it was like, dude, you're a fucking legend. <laughs> and then the nuts came out. So, okay. So it wasn't like... With bad intentions. No, no, no. Okay. No. He actually like mistook his meaning for yes. lol. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would have read that as like, oh, he wants his nuts censored. Yeah. Anyone would have. What? Anyone would have read it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, I, I can't speak to what Chad was thinking, but I mean, whatever. It's funny. Yeah, it's definitely funny. So what happened though? He was like. I mean, you know, just Ludwig's just been, yeah, those are my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the res isn't that high. Yeah. You know? It just looks like a like a smooth egg slip out of his <laughs> fucking pants. I know what Ludwig's nuts look like now. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, I was reading he had some big ass nuts. Yeah. What? Yeah, everyone's saying he's got some big balls. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie did a video and was like, I feel like I'd pull my nuts out and they they wouldn't look like that at all. <laughs> just look like fucking just, you know, just, just like hairy a, dates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is that bacon? <laughs> Is this shit uncooked? What's going on? Well, those are balls right there. <laughs> yeah, like the <laughs> some <laughs> furry dates. Yeah. If I pull my nuts out, everyone will be trying to figure out what race I am based on the color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, look at them dark nuts. Yeah. I know what he is. Yeah. <laughs> this wait a minute. This doesn't help at all. Yeah. <laughs> this actually makes it way harder. Those nuts are vague. <laughs> yeah. Some vague ass nuts right there. <laughs> You got dark nuts? What's up? 
we I've never seen your ball, so I don't know. We may never know, dude. Yeah. No, my my nuts are Dude's fucking. My my uh, my nuts are fucking Vanta black. <clears throat> okay. You ever seen that car paint? No. Where it's like no light refracts <laughs> off of it. No. Yeah, my shit just looks like a comic book cover. You look into it, you just see the stars. You're like, what is happening? <laughs> is that a black hole? Yeah. Is there even matter there? Yeah. Is that antimatter? Yeah. I'll just pull my nuts out and someone will be like, I think the editor fucked up. There's like a weird track mat going on. Oh, you wrote it out his balls. That's impressive. That's so cool. How'd yeah. you do that shit? Yeah, man. <sighs> Mine are <laughs> salmon colored. <laughs> That's cool, man. Really glad we know that now. <laughs> Things I didn't want to know for 200 bucks. Cody's salmon nuts. No, they're not. I just feel like that's the worst color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, salmon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So what do you think about Elon on Twitter right now? Oh, uh, we get into that, but hold on. I had to tell my dad joke that I delivered at Sephora. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm also just thinking about how many celebs really are at every stall. Yeah, I mean, it's like. Yeah, anyone you could possibly, anyone that anyone else looks up to Mm -hmm. is there selling a product. Yeah, butt crack highlighter. Yeah. Actually, is a really funny, I bet you that exists, you know. Summer is coming back. Make sure your butt crack. Make sure your crack is. Make sure your crack is creamed. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Keep your crack moisturized with J-Lo's new uh, moisturizer. It's the booty moisturizer that keeps your crack (laughs) silky smooth. Pop I, your pussy yeah, at yeah. Sephora. Yeah. When I go to the beach in the summer, I like my butt crack smooth. Yeah. Smooth as ice. I don't know if ice is smooth, but. Yeah. No, nah, so we were returning some shit because I, I bought some sunscreen and <laughs> every time I put it on, you know, I just look like a, <laughs> like, you know, when, <laughs> you know, people who are just like have skin conditions where they're violently afraid of the sun. So yeah. they just put on so much sunscreen yeah, that yeah. the white cast is yeah. crazy. I was basically doing like white face like James Charles. <laughs> like it just wasn't soaking in? Yeah. I look like James <laughs> Charles, like that <laughs> meme. And I'm like, dude, got to take this back. And Alina had to exchange some shit. So we go there. We're about to do the exchange. And then. Uh, so you you went to Sephora to mm-hmm. buy it. And then you went back to yep. return it. Yep. Damn. I mean, I didn't go solo. Right. You know. Yeah. I got to use my lady as my yeah, shield. Yeah. She's the reason I'm there. Yeah. But also. Yeah, uh, I'm not. She's the reason I'm I'm not Yeah. I'm not shopping here. Yeah. Yeah. Although you maybe you can buy like Brad Pitt's stuff there, no? Can you? I don't think he has anything. Isn't that yeah he does. He's got at least like a skincare line now. Oh that's I, like targeted at men. I didn't see it in there. No. I just saw J Lo's ass crack. Nice. <laughs> and uh so we're returning one of the items and the girl goes, So uh were you returning this one as well? And I was like, Yeah. Like a fucking dad, I go, yeah, it didn't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> and then she go, hmm. She, she kind of <laughs> she kind of laughed, but she, she, she was kind of focused on whatever. And then Alina starts laughing. She's like, you're dumb as hell. And then I start laughing really hard at, that I have to look away. I just thought about what if I was the town guy? I just show up there like once a week. I buy crazy <laughs> amounts of makeup. They're like, what's up with dude? They're like, oh, Look at his teeth. And they're just like stained <laughs> with makeup. Oh, like, like you I, weren't joking? Like I'm just getting eye palettes and busting them out and eating them in front yeah, of the yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. You're like, didn't taste very good. And she's like, uh-huh. And you're like, what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Dinner. This one takes ho- tastes horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner at Sephora. Yeah. <laughs> just buying perfume and drinking it. <laughs> it's so stupid, but. Oh, that's really funny. They're like, that's the make, that's the makeup eating guy. <laughs> you come in your teeth's all yeah. like. I I thought of that because I I hate the crack highlighter. It tastes <laughs> good. <laughs> that's my favorite one so far. <laughs> Why is it for your butt crack? It's good on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good when I shit it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So you know. <laughs> I had butt crack highlighter cereal That's this morning. So funny. <laughs> mm, funny joke. It's not a joke. What's yeah, funny? Yeah. It didn't taste good. It tastes like batteries. <laughs> just standing in front of the store with a hot dog, just <laughs> sprinkling <laughs> highlighter and 
other bullshit on it. Just dude, just an SPF, just squirting it on like fucking ketchup. <laughs> yeah, running outside of Sephora, you can't wait to get outside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tearing the box <laughs> open, and trying to peel the little thing. You're like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Haley Bieber cream. <laughs> Damn, that's gonna be that's gonna be 2030 when there's no water left. <laughs> yeah, gonna be eating Sephora products and anything with substance in it. <laughs> Damn. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. BetterHelp has connected over three million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and accessible anywhere, 100 percent online. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual, so when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of your inner world. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small. I know a lot of people who have gone to therapy and really enjoyed it, uh, including me and Noel. Yeah. Um, it can reduce stress and anxiety and help with self-empowerment and confidence, too. Yeah. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It uh, couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash TMG. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TMG. Anyway, so that was funny. Anyway, uh, Elon on Twitter. Yeah, what do you think? Free speech is back, as long as you don't make fun of me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. I mean, I, I didn't. what was going on with the impersonation stuff? or like? It was like, unless people strictly put or explicitly say parody in their username. I will suspend those accounts. Ah, I see. So then uh, Mr. Ethan Klein took that as a challenge. Yeah, I saw he got permabanned. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Yep. So, the, but the thing that was confusing me is like Elon was like, oh, nothing has changed about content moderation at all. Mm -hmm. But then like he's tweeting about these policies yeah. as if they're new. Mm -hmm. So did he change it? And, like, would you have always gotten banned if you did this? It's a good question. I don't know. I'm not a bitch. It's just funny the way he's tweeting. It's like he's tweeting as if Twitter is his, like, pet project now. Yeah. And he's he's the one leading everything, and he's just making the rules. I mean, what did any of us expect? I, I, lo I love it. <laughs> I mean, I don't like it, but I'm saying I love... Okay, here. I mean, tell me if you agree with this. Sure. With this happening... Like, with Twitter just melting down right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just... It just feels like we're watching a train wreck, right? Yeah. And the meta layoffs that are supposedly happening this week where they're gutting, like, half the company or something like that. I think they have 82,000 employees, and apparently they're getting rid of, like, a significant chunk of them. I mean, I don't mean to, like, revel in people losing their jobs, but I do take a weird amount of, like, pleasure in seeing social media, like... <laughs> dissolve schadenfreude yeah don't you it is. which is a weird thing to say as people who have like made our <laughs> livings off of it yeah yeah i don't know but don't you feel the same way it's like we're at this weird point where like tiktok might get banned facebook is the bottom performer the bottom performer of the s p 500 it was the last one i'm pretty sure mm. and now twitter is melting down yeah i like <clears throat> that mark zuckerberg is getting kicked in his balls. I like that because I think that's funny. Yeah. And I like that Twitter's becoming a car crash, but in a way it does make me sad. Because you like Twitter? I, I want to still like Twitter. Do you? I like, I want it to be fun still. It's not really. Was anyone fun. having fun? Not All no. anyone does is complain about it. Uh, Yeah, now it sucks. Now it's not that exciting. And anyone... Anytime anyone like deletes Twitter or deletes Instagram, they're like, oh, fuck, my life got so much better. Yeah, I'm fine with Twitter b burning up in flames. And the fact that he owns it, I think it's even funnier if it just completely expires. 
if it just like hits the shitter and yeah. you gonna pay for the check <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't think so i can't are you guys gonna pay for, for the, the check? check i mean would we pay for it like tmg studios like mm. for our studio account you know i'm petty i don't want to give him any money yeah, but even by going on Twitter, you're giving them money. That's true. That's very true. Pay, paying to be like, look at me. No, but I, I know. I, I don't like want to pay for it, but apparently you get better features and stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm trying to I'm trying to see both sides here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I never use Twitter. I literally don't. So yeah. if I didn't pay for this, it would make zero difference for me. Mm-hmm. And I don't care about how my profile looks. Yeah. Like I don't even use it. So why does it matter? Like yeah. I barely tweet anymore. So why does it matter what my profile looks like? Yeah, Twitter is uh I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna pay. I mean, like I, I feel like there it could potentially make it better, the platform. In that less marketing. Less mm. relying on ads, mm. more relying on like people paying to use Twitter. So they're catering to the customers of Twitter, which are now the users, not the advertisers. Mm. That seems like kind of a good thing. That's a good argument. What I think will happen is he will take all of our money and the product will continue to be worse and worse. And he will promise things that will never happen. Yes, I <laughs> totally see that happening. And I kind of hope it does. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I pay for Netflix and that thing sucks. So. Yeah, that keeps getting worse, too. Yeah, what difference does it make? I mean, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to pay for it because, like, are you even a real person without a blue check? No? Yeah, that's, like, kind of the point is that it, like, encourages people to be like, I'm not a bot. Look at me. Yeah. Because that's, like, the main problem with but Twitter. How will it's every, all bots. But, okay, then how will everyone know that I'm better than them? See, that I don't know. Yeah. They need to figure that out. They need a super check. They they, they need one of those for sure. It's the same check bar. It's just bigger. Yeah. Different color or still? No, still same. white. It's okay, just slightly it's a bigger. Bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and juicier. Maybe a little like, em, like, Ooh, little emboss. Kind of boss on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There yeah, we go. Yeah, a little juicier. Oh, you got the juicy check? Yeah. Yeah, I'm juiced up. It's like 10 a month. You pay 10 a month for that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they need like, nothing. the to more me. you pay, the bigger your check is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're $50 a month. Shit's just your whole profile. Just one big yeah. blue. Covers your name. Two huge blue ass cheeks. Yeah, yeah. It covers <laughs> your name, covers everything. Just big as fuck. Who is this? Yeah. The check it's just gets more caked up Yeah, the more you pay. It no, it just turns into a, like a, it's just a sexualized, um, like just like humanoid. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell what gender it is. Yeah. It just has a fat fucking ass. <laughs> exactly. And the check mark, the check mark. Is the check mark its head or its cheeks? Like, does the check mark become the cheeks? The cheeks, for sure. Oh, so then the check like slowly warps into the butt crack. Yes. And then it's like, yeah, it was like a line that like goes down the left cheek and then up the back. Yeah. And then that shit is just like, dude, it's, it's got like the the pose where the feet are to the side, like on the <laughs> ground. It's looking back. Exactly. Yeah. Like, God damn, so, this check mark is fat. <laughs> Damn, Fuck. how much are you paying for Twitter? What would that be? Uh that'd be a a a a pockum fat ass check mark. A what? Like instead of pog? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Fat ass check mark. <laughs> if you Dang. don't what is this? If you don't pay the eight dollars, your tweets will be suppressed, but yeah, I I was uh I read this. Yeah, it, it says it says if you don't pay the eight dollars, your tweets will be suppressed by an algorithm. Not making this shit up. He said it to a room of investors yesterday and claimed this would solve hate speech. You'll have to scroll really far to see unverified users. It's not it's not it's not a bad idea. But again, like yeah, it's it's the problem is like anonymous bots and people saying whatever the fuck they want. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if that gets suppressed, that's probably better. But the argument against it is like, well, that's not free speech then. Yep. Yeah, now there's a now there's a gateway. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting. But the whole thing is like, dude, I, it, I, what's interesting about this to me is that he gets he buys a company, he gets plugged in, and then he's like, oh, I'm just going to implement all these things that are obvious. And it's like, they've probably thought of this shit before. Yeah. This has been like one of the main tech companies for the last 10 years. They've probably thought of this and realized that it wouldn't work for 
a certain reason. Yeah. The context, I think, for Twitter a while ago, I don't think a while ago people would have paid for it. I think it's almost one of those things where Twitter had to be so in, like insufferable. Now people are willing to pay for it. Maybe. You get what I mean? Looking like Twitter used to be so much fun. Yeah. No one would have paid for it back then because it's like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just going to, we're just going to go over here. Yeah. You know, wherever here is yeah. Instagram, whatever. But now all social media platforms suck ass. So I yeah. think people now are willing to entertain. All right, $8 and you get the bots out of there and I can carry my timeline. And yeah, exactly. It's a bit more reminiscent yeah. of what it used to be. Okay, cool. I like seeing this like meltdown right now just because it just seems like a dumpster fire. But also I kind of hope that it works. <laughs> Um, Because I would like Twitter to be fun again. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter, I don't know. It might depend what pockets you're in, but I I used to feel like the whole thing was everyone trying to say stupid jokes, whatever. And yeah, now it's obviously so motivated by news and getting people angry. It just stinks. Yeah. Social media. Oh. It should just be podcasting. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. You it should just be tweeting videos that are minimum <laughs> sixty minutes long <laughs> about everything. You can't yeah. get, you can't get digestible opinion. You know what? Let's go the other way. Extreme nuance. Exactly. With everything. Yes. Yeah, dude. The fun thing about posting mean jokes about Elon Musk on Twitter is you know there's uh a starting what I can't read. A starting the huge chance he's actually going to read it and it will hurt his feelings. Yeah. Now we should tweet Elon fuck my wife at him. <clears throat> yes, we should. 100%. Get perma ban. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Dude, oh, here's a riveting post from Pop Crave. <laughs> Look at this thing that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I you ever crave pop? Yeah. yeah. You ever find yourself craving that dose of pop culture? Yep. What's a good Twitter account for that? I think Pop Crave. That's a good one. Are your headphones keep popping out? Yeah, sorry. You're good. There we go. That shit. That shit. Popping. I love Pop Crave. Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps. Right now, seasonal excitement, or dread, <laughs> is really starting to settle in, especially for small businesses. Slaying through traffic to the post office, inbox more like a blizzard than a winter wonderland, Rushing to send cards and gifts to your loyal clients? It's not too late to get your holiday mailing and shipping under control with Stamps.com. Sign up now and you'll be printing your own postage in minutes. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through Stamps.com with their dashboard. Save money with major discounts on USPS and UPS shipping rates. Up to 86% off, people. I have a bunch of people who I'm going to mail a gift to for the holidays. I'm so happy I can use Stamps.com to make it easy and save money. Rates are constantly changing. With Stamps.com's switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all the major shopping carts and marketplaces. This holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights. (laughs) And get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code TMG for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments (laughs) or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code TMG. Get a four-week trial, free Free postage. postage, and a digital scale. At https cool. colon <laughs> forward slash forward slash www.stamps.com slash tmg. Once again, that's https colon forward slash forward slash www.stamps.com slash tmg. And thank you to https colon forward slash forward slash www.stamps.com slash tmg for sponsoring the show. Dude, I was in um, I was in Baltimore this weekend. How was that? What a nothing town. Yeah. That's not that's no dig at the people. I just I feel for them. There's really not shit to do there. Was it cold? Uh it wasn't that bad actually. Okay. No. I went down to their little harbor. It was you know, it's it was a good place to look at. How were the shows? They're they're great. Yeah. Um 
All five are solid. Shout out Magoobies. <laughs> Funny ass club name. Oh yeah. Magoobies. Magoobies. That's good. The place used to be a tractor showroom. Okay. Then it turned into a uh dinner theater, I think that's the way they phrased it. But yeah, they it has these levels that they used to put tractors on. And salesmen and, and shit would walk through and be like, Oh man, I want I want that one right up there. Okay. What's the tell me about that one? <laughs> But that there's a DTX John Deere <laughs> 700, yeah. and they built a like a like is the stage elevated or oh that's yeah, sick. There you go. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like got multiple levels. Honestly, the way it was set up, I felt like I should have been, you know, po- like pile driving some. Oh, that's a bad way for it. Uh, like doing like an RKO or like a Stone Cold Stunner. Oh yeah, on that stage. Yeah, pile driving is a bad choice of word. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, it felt like an Amsterdam sex <laughs> I theater. I was say, is this an Amsterdam? Yeah. <laughs> like I should have been fucking blowing someone's back out up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Did you watch uh, White Lotus yesterday? Yeah, I knew, I knew we were going to talk about it. <laughs> fucking knew fucking you were going to bring that out, talk. Talk Did you? No, you didn't? I mean, it's not like there's anything to spoil. It's just more the most just blood-curdlingly skin-crawly show ever. Yeah. It is, I hate it, but I love it. Oh, how uncomfortable everyone is? Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. I'm just like, everyone fucking sucks. Every relationship is bad. Mm -hmm. Makes you question everything in your real life. Yeah. Everything. And every societal norm and everyone you've ever talked to, you're like, is it like this? Because it does. It seems real, doesn't it? That's so funny, dude. You're just watching that show thinking, damn, everyone hates me. Yeah. <laughs> like, am I this shitty? You're having an existential crisis via White Lotus, man. Because there's not one person to root for. There's not one good character, good relationship. Hmm. Every we, relationship. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? The grandfather seems like a great guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just sexually harassing yeah. everybody. Yeah. Why isn't your wife here? Why isn't she here? It's a penis, not a sunset. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to find a nice girl to grab my dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The- Theo James nails that uh, dickhead, like, <laughs> frat friend. The way he talks with his jaw clenched. I know. Dude, white 50 cent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yeah, <laughs> I fuck her every night. <laughs> I'm trying to think, who could you root for in the whole thing? You're not rooting for a uh, piano player. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know. Yep. She's she's just trying to navigate through it. Yeah. Right. Uh, and her yeah, maybe girl. the sex workers. Yeah. You know, are they, can you even say there's sex workers? Aren't they? I don't know. They feel like hobbyists. Okay. <laughs> like she gets paid, but yeah, just, you know, just something she does. Yeah, that's true. I feel, I think sex workers when it's like you got branding. Right, right, right. You know. Yeah. I got a link. You know, you can see me there. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. You know, it's like by appointment. Yeah. She's still kind of on the come up. Yeah, true. Figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of in that open mic phase. Yeah. She's moonlighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I mean, you could. Maybe the piano player, you could root for her. I mean, I was going to say the son seemed like he was likable. And uh, then that date was weird as fuck. What part? When he was like, I refuse to have a bad relationship with women. Yeah. Yeah. That just told me that he's <laughs> going to go on to do some <laughs> yeah, bad shit. Yeah. <sighs> Can I kiss you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. She's not too bad. She's not too bad. I think you can root for her. Yeah. She seems to be... I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's the voice of the audience here? Which one are we supposed to be, like, resonating with? I think they've carefully spliced everyone out. That's what I'm saying. It's like every... It, there's a little piece in everyone that you're like, oh, that's sort of like... Mm. I feel like it's pretty obvious. That. I feel like, you know, they 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 hit a lot of generational stereotypes. Yeah. You know, like the Gen Z girl being like, I just want to go on an adventure and someone who's like, you know, I just want to be on Hinge and da 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 It is, but it's, they, they like nail it. Yeah. 
That's good. But it's, it's without being cliche. Mm. Like it does, it is a stereotype, but no one has said it like that before where she's just, it's like plain and simple. Like yeah. I'm sick of social media. I just want to go on an adventure. Mm. Yeah. The everyone there definitely sucks ass more than the first season. Oh yeah. 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 It's, it's harder to watch. I think. Do you think, uh, like. damn, cover your ears, Cash. Do you think, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. When Jennifer Coolidge shot that guy, I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, do you think her dude is a? Uh, you think he's he's married? Oh y- yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Cash, you can you can unfuck. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem like he is. Yeah, like again, when Jennifer Coolidge shot that guy in the chest. In the chest, and he's bleeding out. Yeah. When he swung a bat on him. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else happened in the show that we could really chew on, but that's kind of it, honestly. Yeah, you just Not, th- that's the thing about the show is nothing really happens. Yeah, nothing does. It's happen. uncomfortable the whole time. Who who do you think is gonna die? Yeah, that I'm not sure about. I kind of even forgot that that happened. Mm-hmm. Like the whole first season, it was like it was never. F- I never forgot that. Like, oh, this is building up to something. But this season, I keep forgetting that, like, oh, there is, like, some deaths. And we're trying to figure out who in this group dies. Yeah. Is that what it is? Kind of. Yeah. I think it might be the Gen Z girl. You think so? I think she might go. That'd be sad. That's why I think it might be her. Yeah. Either that or one of the sex worker girls. Yeah. Can you even call them that? The hobbyists. The sexual hobbyists. The Maybe. freelancers. That's yeah. what I'm going to call them. The freelancers. I do like seeing Christopher. You said what? <laughs> what do you say? Cash said I think it's gonna be the black character, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. Is there one? Yeah, no, there's not, no, right? Not in this season. No way. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 we got Sicilians in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The that con- that was, that guy was in the first season, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they got no uh no one of Pacific Island descent in this season. Yeah, it's 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 been good though. I'm liking. I'm liking it. Yeah, same. Hey guys, I want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. The holidays are just around the corner, and HelloFresh makes this busy time of year easier than ever with chef-crafted recipes and pre-proportioned ingredients delivered right to your door. So you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. Save money on dinner with HelloFresh <laughs> and put it toward your holiday shopping. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. With over 35 weekly recipes, there's something to please everyone. You can easily customize your recipes by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading to choice proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. Even put meat on your mouth. (laughs) Whether you're hosting a holiday party or just stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything you need at HelloFresh Market. From quick breakfast to charcuterie boards, excuse me, and desserts, It's never been easier to prep for a party or fill your pantry. Busy days and late nights call for more flexibility. That's why HelloFresh has plans that work with your schedule. You can change your preferences, delivery date, and and address in just a few clicks. Quality is HelloFresh's priority. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days. So you know they're fresh. And you already know what my favorite recipe is. The bibimbap. (laughs) It's delicious, easy to make, and I'm always in the mood for it. And Kelsey and I love having it for dinner. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat65 and use code TinyMeat65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat65 and use code TinyMeat65 for 65% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I started All Quiet on the Western Front. What was that? It's a remake. It's on Netflix. The opening is insane. It's pretty intense. It's a war. Sorry, keep going. It's a war film. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're into history these days. Uh, I saw you did a history passive. video. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, everyone was calling us the R word. Okay, why? Because we didn't remember a lot of things, but they're just the R word. Uh, they, um, no one is contextualizing that we're like 30. 
Mm-hmm. I don't fucking remember that far back. Yeah, yeah, right. So it was, it was actually pretty funny. People tried to make it this deeper thing. The American education system is so flawed. <laughs> Holy, how do you guys joke about being this stupid? Because you don't need to know when World War I was to get through the world, dumbass. <laughs> I mean, sure, in terms of culture and, you know, the way things go, it's good to know your history, but knowing the exact year or the name of the atomic bomb, irrelevant. <laughs> I know it happened. Wait, Fat Boy and Lil, yeah. Lil Slim. Yeah, Fat Boy Isn't Slim Fat and, Boy Slim and, and, and Christopher and... Walken. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Fat Boy Slim and Christopher Walken all over Japan. That's what it... Yeah. Isn't that fucking crazy that we just nuked Japan? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and everyone's just like... Cool, like just chill with it. I don't think everyone's chill with it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word people would use, but yeah, I think yeah, I know what you mean. How that are we co- like allowed to go to Japan? It's a good question. I think there was this big treaty where we um, strong armed them into saying you have to let us eat ramen noodles. Yeah, <laughs> and buy your. Co- oh, you know what Japan did? They got us back with the consumerism. Yeah, they're like, that's fine. You guys like microwaves, right? Yeah. We're gonna decimate your local <laughs> fucking economy. <laughs> They sent cars and microwaves here and dishwashers, and now look at us. That's true. They got us by the fucking nuts. That's true. They even converted our kids into them. Yeah. We got so. we got American kids being born being like, I'm Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit more K-pop, isn't it? This? I don't know. No, I just mean like culturally. Oh, no. Korea. Well, once Japan started doing it, then Korea's like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Yeah, yeah. And they made BTS. Yeah. <laughs> And then now they've got us. Yeah. How's that for history? Yeah. They got K-pop ch- fans. They got children in Idaho telling their <laughs> parents, like, we should have all Samsung products. So is a weeb? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the most boomer shit yeah. of all time. So, is a, so finish what this sentence. exactly is a weeb? <laughs> weeb likes Japanese stuff. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What does weeb mean? Yeah, so, you know, we, we took one of their cities, but they're taking our generations. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, they got us in every facet. Car culture. Yeah. Music, technology. Plowing through us. Um, You know, mid- midterms are happening. Did you? Yeah, did you vote? Uh. <laughs> no. No, I've been passively watching. I should have waiting voted. for the right time to strike. <laughs> no, no, I just I I feel guilty. I feel like I should have participated. Well, you still can. Oh, I thought I thought the day was over. I think it's technically tomorrow, isn't it? When's the last day to November eighth? Terms. Yeah. What's, what's the day today? Oh, definitely tomorrow. Oh, maybe maybe I'll go throw throw some shit down the go yeah, throw some shit down the hatch. <laughs> down the hatch. I would if I could, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if you could. I would if I could, but unfortunately I can't. Yeah, you're out here cosplaying. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking you fucking alien immigrant. <laughs> Get out of here. You contribute nothing <laughs> yeah. to the system. Yeah, I mean I, that's I get away scot free, you know? You know, I'm I feel I feel I feel weird about it because 'cause I'm bi, you know? Bi bi citizen? Yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, I'm here. I mean, I'm not a citizen yet, but I'm legally. Maybe I'll never be one, just so I can be like, ah, you should vote, but I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You guys got to research all the issues and everything. I would if I could. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't. Not legal. So. Right. Right. Yeah. But if I would, if I was a citizen, I'd be researching the fuck out of all the <laughs> bills and you know politics. Yeah, I'm I'm by I'm by I'm by citizen. Yeah. So you know, I feel weird about. So it. you vote in Canada too, then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're you're researching all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Same. My <laughs> my civilian sexuality is very confused. <laughs> I just don't know who I am yet. That's my excuse. <laughs> yeah. I don't vote either way because I'm I don't vote in either country because I just don't know what I want to be or wh- who I am. Or yeah. I'm still exploring myself. <laughs> exactly. Politically. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You know, I just don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I want to like vote when you there find or here. Someone, yeah. When you find out somebody, like a celebrity, is dating someone mm. of the same 
gender and then you're like, oh, what the fuck? I didn't know. Yeah. That'd be like you tweeting like, oh, I voted today in Canada. Yeah. They're like, like oh my wait, God. What? I didn't... <laughs> what? Oh my God. I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah. By the time you're hearing this, it's too late to vote. So if you didn't, you're a bad person and we're going to find your family and kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Just vote kidding, no kidding. on prop. Yeah, pick one. I don't know. Yeah, pick one. Go ahead. Yeah. 100. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's a good one? Doesn't exist. Yeah. It would have been bad if I found a ran like, hit a random one. <laughs> Vote yes on prop D's into Cody's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Vote yes to prop D's. <laughs> Dude, campaign advertisements <laughs> are... This. Prop 100, Motor Vehicle Insurance Discounts Initiative. No, I said 700. Is there a 700? Um, vote yes to legally push your grandma down the stairs when it's too late. That's what I'm saying. Or if when it's gone on, on too it was long. That? Yeah. Like, vote yes. If your grandma Legalize is- Legalize pushing grandmas. Oh, no. Yeah. I didn't know. If your grandma's over 100, then you feel like- <laughs> Pounds? You, it would- No, years. Ah. I mean, she could be 100 pounds. <laughs> And if you both consensually feel that it's gone on way too long and it's time for her to go and she would like to go, vote yes on this and legally, I'm sorry. I What's guess. up with us going from violence against animals to violence against old people? No, no, I'm not being ageist. <laughs> what is this? Moose fights back. What is this? They're sending a warning sign, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, the two fight. Uh, the, I don't think I've seen this. The two moose bucking. Just wait for it, bro. Oh! Fuck that car up. Locking horns. Dude, the sound of that is brutal. Yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, let's break this fight down. Jeez Louise. Hey, get out of my fucking truck. <laughs> I thought that was in the video for a second. <laughs> hey, y'all take that horseplay over there. <laughs> we <laughs> babe. Hey, knock it off. Get away from my truck. Dad, those ain't horses. Those is meese. <laughs> get that meese play away from the car. Dude, the sound of the horns locking in. Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, I you know, I feel bad for people that just listening. Yeah. The the wood on wood? Sound like a kendo class or some shit. Yeah, that's Ow. intense. You've seen that before? What? I've never seen that video. Yeah, yeah, I saw him get into it. Little fucking yeah, these boys had. I don't know what's the equivalent for like alcohol with with meese. Um, tree sap. Yeah, cocaine bear. Yeah. Yeah. So, little. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking something more dark. Like they just eat. what do what do meese eat? What does a moose eat? I don't know. Let's look it up. Oh my god, you don't even know what a moose eats? Fucking idiots in America. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Herbivores. Oh, okay, yeah. Are they really? Meaning they only eat plants. Willow, aspen, birch. Dog, just imagining. Oh, bro, I bet you. Man, how much you want to bet these moose eat wild mushrooms and are just tripping balls yeah, when they run out into the fucking road. Yeah, probably. That's what I run right at the car. Yeah. They're like, Valhalla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Many types will dine on psychedelic mushrooms. Bro, let's go. No way. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. I just picture those two dudes like splitting like eight, like whatever they can take, 80 grams of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're just fucking getting into a bar fight in this guy's <laughs> driveway. What do they think they're doing though? Um, it's a good question. Like, what are they seeing? I don't think anyone like chooses violence on mushrooms. You know, maybe they at think each level? other is something else coming at them. Yeah, you know, it's a weird, like one of those horrible mushroom stories where someone like smashes their face in with a rock. Yeah, reindeer eating psychedelic mushrooms. Uh, many categories of deer dine on psychedelic mushrooms, including. Moose and caribou. Oh, so, okay. So, if you shoot them, it's fine. 
<laughs> That's why Joe Rogan loves to eat these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because elk are just packed yeah. full of... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joe's just tripping ass balls. all the time. <laughs> Observers report that after eating the fungi, deer often act drunk by running around aimlessly, <laughs> twitching their heads and making noises. Dog, that's it. That is For it. Sure it. They see all those lights in the distance, and they say... Yo, I want to I want to lick that. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like a moth. Hey, yo. A, yeah, a moose high as hell. Like, I want to put my tongue on that. <laughs> yeah. Running right up to a train. <laughs> <laughs> Eating these mushrooms infuses the caribou's urine with psychoactive agents, meaning that the urine can and is consumed for a high... Dude, we need to find some caribou urine. <laughs> Seriously. Today, Cody and Noel do caribou <laughs> urine. Let's just do that and see if we can fucking... Man, fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'd be like that. I think we'd just be on our backs like... Ah, ah. And puking. Yeah. <laughs> caribou will battle each other to earn access to the urine of a herd mate that has... What? Fly agaric in its system. Oh, in noticing this, uh, Siberian tribes realized that they too could benefit from drinking this, this spiked caribou urine. Holy oh. shit! Humans have been getting high forever. Yeah, man. Damn, you sound like Joe for a second. It's true. I mean, humans have been getting high forever. I mean, just think about the Siberian tribes, for example. They used to drink spiked caribou urine. Yeah, they used to drink caribou urine, and they get really high and fuck each other up. It's crazy. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> you seen that? Did I say that edit with Miley Cyrus? Yeah, definitely. Fuck, it's so funny. Oh! 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 You know? Oh, I know. Dude, I want some caribou you. Damn, we gotta find that. We should do Cody and Noel do like the weirdest drugs. Didn't yo sorry did that Tech Nine needs to come back. That song Caribou Lou. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs to make Caribou that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Caribou You, <laughs> baby. Good. Oh man, that's really good. Big Caribou come one fifty one. I don't remember the fucking lyrics. That's one of the songs that plays on my phone it's like it's like de- it's like in my itunes library from, <laughs> from 10 years back. ago yeah Bro, that's so, good. so when that's my blue so when my bluetooth connects <laughs> it'll be like <laughs> one two one rum dude that's so funny yeah because i was asking alex my production assistant if he's ever heard of tech nine and he's like no nah, not really and i said oh man when this song came out, fucking college kids went crazy <laughs> for this shit. And the fact that you're like, oh, yeah, no, nah, that's just in my phone. But it was before college, wasn't it? it? A few years, yeah. 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 But I, I think th- I found that song in, like, high school. Like No, yeah, it was early high, high school, school. But I feel like it still carried, you know. Yeah. I think that was, like, a lingering. What was what was the story behind Tech 9 I, I actually don't know much about him. I just know that there came a point where... His crowd was very like uh, blended with had a lot of crossover with ICP. Oh yeah, so you kind of became yeah. embraced by those people, right? Right. Did you? Nah, no, you went to an athletic school. You didn't what? have juggalos at your school. No, nah. no juggalos. I Did had, you? Yeah. Really? It was like three or four, like super hardcore. At CSUN? No, in high school. Oh wow. Okay. Regularly come to school with face. <laughs> no paint. way. Face paint. Really? Oh yeah. Like clown face paint. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Hatchet man T-shirts and chains. It was about it. Fago. Uh, don't think we sold Fago in my area. I don't think that they have that in California, do they? No. Nah. Definitely a Midwest thing. That's crazy. Or parts of West. So I they think, liked ICP that much. Uh, they did. It's not like they liked, it was, like that it was, was their, it's like a personality that trait. That was their like lifestyle, dude. Life. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. They would, uh, yeah, it was their uniform. And then they would get in trouble for the face paint, so then they would only wear it on Halloween. Okay. <laughs> when Halloween came around, you, I, I could name drop them so quick. and they would. That's so funny. So you guys are all wearing masks today, but me? Yeah. This is when I just get to be me. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
a thousand percent. Halloween is when I take my mask off. Yeah. This I, is the real me. I'll show you the real psycho <laughs> that I am. That's fucking awesome. Is there a better name for a fandom than Juggalo? But you know what's crazy? That's so sick. They were like two of the nicest dudes in school. These two guys? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, the two Juggalos. Oh, yeah? School. Yeah. Willing to engage anybody. Okay. And everybody knew him. Well, I mean, is ICP like, aren't they like vaguely like Christian? No. And it's not. But it's not like violent music, is it? I don't really know their music. I just know like part of one song and it's pretty graphic what goes on in the oh, song. Okay. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're I'm not gonna brand them all as violent. I think they're mostly well mannered people. They just kind of like are to their own. Yeah. But the content of their lyrics, I think definitely it doesn't I don't know if it promotes violence, but this is some brutal shit in there. Okay. I'm not trying to tiptoe. I just don't know enough to yeah, yeah. to speak on yeah. juggalo music. I feel like we. That's yeah. I'm that's just a saying. Sick uh, name juggalo. <laughs> I'm just saying we need caribou. You. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What's funny too is when they do the makeup. You know, they were just two dudes, so they didn't have like a ton of practice with face makeup. <laughs> okay. So it it was interesting seeing it getting better over the years. <laughs> You know, like the first two years, it was like their eyes were like kind of punched out yeah. like just with black. And then by, you know, by senior year, you know, they, it was pretty smooth from what I remember. It'd be funny he's going to a Juggalo convention with like the Kiss makeup on. Yeah. And they're like, dude. That's wrong, wrong band. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. That's not funny, man. <laughs> I actually think Juggalos wouldn't react that way. I just think they would go, yo, sick. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty like, if you're down with a clown, you're one of us. Yeah. Are you down a clown, bro? I'm down a clown. <laughs> <laughs> like what, the one with the star? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think. Kind of the original Juggalos. In a way. Not culturally, but these dudes were more, uh, Kiss was like, you know, Satanist. Yeah. They thought if you listen to this shit, you know, you're going to start like killing goats and drinking blood and stuff. Yeah. Like uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Lil Nas X is the kiss of our... <laughs> of Gen Z. Yeah. That's really all it takes to like piss off old people. I just start Le doing nope. Satan shit. Just like leather pants and... Yeah. Yeah. Vaguely like homoerotic stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> vaguely devil yeah. worship. I think, it just, I think it just makes older like people confused. Yeah. You know? Some of these like older <laughs> fucking boomers in the closet. They're like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, I like it. Turn this off. <laughs> Stop doing that. You're making me like it. Did I tell you about um, Harry Styles' movie, The Policeman? Yeah. My no, Policeman? I, yeah, I saw you were, uh, yeah, that was so cool that they put you in like, <laughs> was, full body. Yeah. Yeah. Honorary Latino. Yeah, no, you should tell us what the <laughs> drip was. <laughs> Did you see that? No. The, the fucking brand name was, uh, um, Something Latino. And so it's oh, a men, men, like they reposted the picture of me and it was like men of, it's like a, it's like a name. It's like first, I gotta find it. <laughs> I should probably know. What I was trying is. to make a joke. Yeah, guys. Wait, what, what was the joke? Cody went to see my policeman. They put him in full Kevlar with a body cam courtesy of the Chattanooga Police Department. They <laughs> suited him out head to toe. <laughs> what? He had combat boots. He had a sidearm, flashlight various accessories and attachments. Um, they kitted him out for the Harry Styles movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, speaking of Harry Styles, what was up with that girl on TikTok who was like, I spent 10 grand. I was finna be in the pit. Wait, what? You of see what? that? No. It was this girl who said, I spent 10 grand at the Harry Styles concert. It was like something, something. My friend said, let's go up in the nosebleeds. And I said, no way. I'm finna be in the pit. I'm finna be in the pit. Of Harry Styles? Yeah. Wait, what's funny about that? It's like this white girl, and she was, she just said, I'm finna be oh, in the pit out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I see. It was extremely contrived. Yeah. I'm finna be in the pit. It was great. Oh, that's cringe. Grating, yeah. dude. So the, the designer's name is Style underscore Latino. 
Oh, nice. So they they said men of style Latino, and so everyone was responding like, "Dude, I didn't know you were Latino." <laughs> It's like, damn, nice to see, you know, fellow Latino. Did no idea. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> anyway, so that's the brand name. They weren't saying that I was Latino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't saying that either. Yeah. But people misconstrued it. Yeah. Way. That's cool, man. But anyways. You didn't ask to be Latino. Yeah, exactly. Born that way. Exactly. Yeah, cool. The movie, um, it's just like, I mean, the movie was good, actually. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Hairstyles wasn't, I and I was like reading reviews before, and I, you know, a lot of people are like, a lot of critics like hated it, because they were like, he doesn't deserve, you know, like, oh man, his acting needs so much work. Mm. He actually played the character really well, mm -hmm. but there's just like full on, like intense gay sex scenes. Yeah. In that movie. It was, it was tough being hard the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you were bricked up in there. Turn the shit off. Now, you know my favorite part is about a movie? That was my first movie premiere that I've ever been to. Yeah. And, you know, we walked the red carpet. Sick. So everyone's like, you know. Yeah, I mean, that shit is fucking stressful. Yeah? So stressful. What part? I mean, you know, Marking? we did the... I know, I guess we've done... Well, we, I've, we've walked red carpets before, like, yeah. at the Spotify party and shit like that. Yeah. You know that feeling when you're walking down and they're all like, over here, over. And I was Kelsey's plus one, so I wasn't even on the thing. Sick. So we walked onto the carpet and all the people taking pictures had her. Like there was a person with an iPad holding her name up. So they're yeah. like, Kelsey, look over here. Kelsey, look over here. And I was kind of like, where should, where do you want me to look? Where right. should I stand? It just felt like a, like a puppy. Yeah. Like, like just sitting beside Kelsey. And then like everyone's taking pictures. And it's like all, like there was like 50 photographers because everyone's waiting for Harry, right? Right. So there's so many paparazzi there. Right. So everyone wants to like look crazy and, you know, like make a statement. And then you walk in the theater and everyone sits in these tiny little theater seats. Yep. In these crazy ass outfits. I walked in, there's this guy like in a lime, in a neon green suit mm. with no shirt on under, underneath. Crazy outfit. It's looking fly. Just sitting in a tiny seat eating popcorn. And that's everyone. They come in all like grand and they everyone like squeezes in, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. And it's just a normal theater. Yep. Like a normal movie watching experience. Yeah. My second time being to the theater before. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> Since COVID ended. Damn. And uh Yeah, good thing no one came and shot that place. <laughs> I mean you laugh, but that's what I was thinking the whole time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was cool. I don't know. Well, no one would have shot it up because, you know, Harry was there. Exactly. He's yeah. a policeman, though. Yeah. <laughs> Harry would have... We can't We can't shoot it up. Yeah. Harry's, in, Harry's a he, cop. He's a fully trained <laughs> cop now. That's the stupidest <laughs> joke. <laughs> Harry just fucking... <laughs> Freeze! Enjoy the movie. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, you won up. <laughs> you won up. I came with the swift dad joke and then you you came in there with the worst fucking baseball dad. <laughs> Holy shit. Freeze. Enjoy the movie. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'll mess it. Enjoy. I'll mess it. I'll be over here. I'll be over here if you want some popsicles. He did. He went on stage before the movie and gave, you know, some bullshit speech. Damn. It was like it was like it, it, it's such a funny dynamic, dude. Him being an actor, yeah. I feel like he probably could have an acting career because he's not bad and he's a good-looking guy. Yeah. But I think he's so famous that it's going to be just such a hindrance. Yeah. Because, like, this really was. It was like a pretty great story, and the other actor was fucking incredible. Mm. And that I mean, all the leads were amazing, and the director was really good, and the scenery was amazing, and it was shot really nice. So then, so then he, they come in, the director comes in, and then the other leads come in, and they all give this, like, nice speech, and then Harry walks in, and, like, the front, like, 20 rows are like, oh, my fucking God, I'm so proud of you, Harry. Someone actually said that. In front of the fucking director and the rest of the people, and the, I'm so proud of you, Harry. Cool. I was just like, oh, man, this feels weird. Yeah. And he was being all, I love you, too. 
It's like you're not on stage at a concert. This yeah. is like another thing, you know? Yeah. It felt fucking weird. He just grabs the microphone, <laughs> just snaps right back into it. Yeah. He's like, oh, a lot of you know this like yeah. so you look after yourself. You know, you're proud of you, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I'm proud of you for taking care of you. <laughs> kind of reminds me of strawberries. <laughs> Perhaps watermelon. Nothing like a little bit of sugar to get you going, right? Yeah. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Yeah, yeah just. Hey, Harry, sh- st- what, are you, what are you doing? You're just doing that shit on set. You don't know you're beautiful. It <laughs> goes in one direction. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> like straw. <laughs> shut, yo, Harry. <laughs> shut that shit up, man. Do the line. Do the lines. <laughs> Do the lines we rehearsed. Yeah. On a summer evening. Yo, shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. <laughs> Be quiet. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was definitely an experience. So how did he react when you threw your underwear up on stage? <laughs> he was pretty receptive to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, they took him, I mean, he basically just gave it a couple, you know, like that. And he's like, Cody, nice. Cody, no, yeah. Mm. Is that Sauvage? Yeah. Is that Dior? It smells like a, like a sushi restaurant. Like music from a sushi restaurant. <laughs> I barely know that song. <laughs> I barely know that song. Did you watch the music video for it? Nah. I feel like you'd like it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch it with no volume. I mean, maybe we could watch it in the bo- <laughs> <laughs> Can we start the bonus? <laughs> wait, wait. Why are you rolling your eyes? It's just a funny ass thing to say. Yeah, let's watch it with no volume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This shit goes crazy on mute. <laughs> oh, you are staying in the hood with this one. <laughs> 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 those those comments get me every they're, single they're time. They're never not funny. They're never not funny. Anytime anyone says something negative with a fire emoji next to it, it <laughs> fucks me up. Seriously, dude. I like little pumps. <laughs> Yo, delete this. <laughs> Yo, unrelease this. Unrelease this is the best one. Unrelease. Yo, unreleased. putting out music and for someone to say take it back <laughs> is so funny it's so <laughs> funny oh fuck yo delete this <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to the hood with this one music for a sushi restaurant let's start the bonus with this because i feel like it's better to actually like listen to the song yeah 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 plus it's just kind of a good ass song what oh okay what are you me keeping track of the time now yeah. Oh shit, we're we gonna fight. <laughs> oh shit, are we gonna suck right now? I just feel like it, th- that movie, like Harry. I think Harry was getting some shit for like queer baiting, mm. and he's like, "I'll fucking show you queer baiting." Yeah. <laughs> and then he fucks a guy. Like this. What? I'm gonna this fuck show, this yeah, dude. This movie was like crafted to get the maximum amount of views from Gen Z. Got it. Got it. And not that it's bad, but I mean, it's it was crazy. <laughs> like I'm a, like I there are like rumors that he's like bi or whatever. Sorry, this is just so graphic for no reason, but it's just like the first scene. He's just like just fucking topping something <laughs> crazy. It's just, just like the porn angle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> POV of him just <laughs> That's the opening thing. Yeah. He finishes his speech, he's like, So this this story is about love. Something as old as time. <laughs> just the top of his head. So please, please enjoy the movie i i <laughs> enjoyed making this so much with the team here the absolute wow. astounding team and enjoy <laughs> yeah what the hell was that i'm trying to make that fucking <laughs> what was that yeah explain what was that you know, like the, you know. Oh, the... the. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. The blowfish noise. <laughs> Damn. It just opens, bro. Just... <laughs> just <laughs> Everyone in the You're theater. Like, Whoa, holy shit. shit. Where's the guy? Yeah, talk to so proud of you, Harry. Dog, it's it's the fucking and he's like looking up with like the red face, <laughs> just tears from his eyes. 
This mascara running just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the juxtaposition would be so funny. Just all these is great creative, you know, it's a wonderful script. It was just so amazing to get into the character. Lights low. <laughs> it's for please enjoy this movie as much as we did making it. Enjoy. <laughs> Just like it. Yeah, the whole theater's like, oh shit. Damn. <clears throat> Intense. <laughs> I'm crying like Harry in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. <clears throat> yeah, all right, let's go to the bonus. Let's go to the bonus. <laughs> Where Harry, <laughs> Harry actually does it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to watch. <laughs> Damn. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. This week on the Bone Zone. I don't want to do fuck with you. Wait, LDS. Don't do it. Don't get me. Don't get me. Don't you fucking dare. We're starting our OnlyFans next week. <laughs> oh, no. What if you could digitally insert Mr. Beast into every episode? <laughs> yes. That's now we're talking. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGStudios.tv. <laughs> 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 <laughs>